guys, Jill here with another video. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup haul. Now I kind of just got like little stuff like here and there, so I decided to kind of just put it all together and do a haul for you guys. So the first stuff that I got was from, well not the first stuff, but anyways I kind of got some stuff from like a couple things from Target, Walgreens, Walmart, um, Kohl's, and just a couple things from Big Lots. Sorry I had to look down. I've tried to film this a few times today, you guys. Well, I'm not not gonna lie, like a billion times practically. I tried to film this earlier when it was really bright and sunny. It was a gorgeous day here today, and I just problems is getting darker and darker and later and later. And I'm starting to look really tired because I am tired. But anyways, enough of enough rambling. I hope you guys are all having a really good day today. So let's just go ahead and get started with this haul. So the first stuff I'm gonna show you guys is the stuff that I got from Kohl's. And now Kohl's for my birthday, they sent me a $10, like, kind of, inst not in-store credit, but, like, a little gift voucher for your birthday for, like, $10, which I thought was pretty cool. So, the stuff I'm going to show you, I used my $10 to it and then paid the difference or whatever. So, the first thing that I picked up was this Real Techniques stippling brush. And I have never tried, everything I'm showing you today in this haul is items I have never tried before, so I thought this is pretty exciting to try out these things. So, this is what the packaging looks like. And this is what the back of the packaging um, looks like. And I guess these were created by um, these ladies here. This is by Sam and Nick. They're pro makeup artists and YouTube beauty gurus. So I thought that was pretty cool. So let me take the brush out and show you guys a little closer what it looks like. So this is what it looks like here. Real pretty pink color. And that's what the brush looks like there. So this is going to be really nice for applying your um, foundation, BB creams. I like the lighter foundations. If you're going to put a heavy foundation, you just kind of have to um, stipple, I guess, and use it that way. But yeah, I can't wait to try and see how it feels pretty nice. I can't wait to try and see how that's going to be. This was like $9, I want to say, but you got if you put on a Kohl's card, you got an extra 20% off. So. So that is exciting. Next thing I picked up from Kohl's was these um, Katy Perry lashes, and these were like $6 less 20% off or whatever, something along the lines of that. This comes with the adhesive, and I just thought these looked pretty nice, so I want to try those and see if I like those or not. And they had a few different styles of those too, but that one actually looked the best. Well, for me anyways. And then I picked up this EOS, which these run about like $3 or something like that, I think. And this I just picked this up. It's in the Vanilla Mint because I love vanilla. I love mint. And I really love mint lip balms. Always feel really refreshing on your lips. And I love EOS products. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and give that a try and see what I thought of it. Okay, moving on, I'm going to show you guys the items that I picked up from Big Lots. The first thing that I picked up were these Soft Lips Birthday Cake, and this was $1.50, and, you get, and the vanilla, and I picked up that. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it for myself or give it to somebody else, but I just thought for $1.50, I mean, that's a really good deal, so I got that. Next thing I got was just a couple polishes, and these were $2.50. These are the Sephora polishes. The first one I got is in Conceited. It's a really hot, pretty hot pink glittery color. It's gorgeous. In fact, this would match what I'm wearing today, and I need to polish my nails, so I might just have to do that. Well, it's really late here now, but it's just a gorgeous color. The next one I got is, this is the color here. This is a really pretty um, deeper kind of green color, which is going to be really nice for like the holidays, I think. But for $2.50, I mean, that's a good deal for the Sephora polishes. Next few items I picked up were from Target, and these are the NYX uh, Butter Gloss. And the first one I'm going to show you is in the color Strawberry Parfait. This is just a really pretty pink color, and I have this actually swatched already because, like I said, I tried to do this video a few times. So let me show you that one. That one is the one in the middle here. It's just a real pretty pink color, and these feel really nice. And they don't have, like, a whole lot of scent to them. It has a small scent, but I can't, like, describe what that smells like. But they feel really creamy on, so... I think those are going to be good. The next one I got is this really pretty, this is a lighter pink color, and this is in the color Eclair. And that one is this one here. And this is just really nice for like every day, so I really love that color too. Okay, now moving on, I'm going to show you guys the items that I picked up from Walmart. First thing that I picked up was this number 04 Violet Addict, and this is the Milani Lip Intense Liquid Color. And I've kind of opened all these up just because, like I said, I've already done this video a few times and it's kind of made it easier to just go ahead and swatch it. And I've swatched this one already too. So this is what the packaging looks like. That's what that looks like. 
Now, the only thing that I have to say about this is it smells like plastic stinky feet slash something. I don't know. I'm not very happy because obviously it was in the packaging when I got the store. I'm not exactly thrilled with the scent of this. I'm going to have to, tr I haven't even put it on my lips yet to see how it's going to be. I don't even know if I can put this on my lips. We'll have to see how it, how it's going to be. I don't know. We'll see. It's got a weird chemical plastic stinky feet scent all combined. If you blended it all together, if that makes any kind of sense. But anyways, I'm loving the color. This is going to be a gorgeous color for fall. This is the color here. It's a really pretty, uh, I love it. It's gorgeous. So I love that. And it feels really nice. It's just the smell. Like it's, I don't know. Next thing I picked up was this Milani eyeshadow primer. And I got this, picked this up. I've actually never tried this before, but this was like around $5. I want to say something like that. So I decided to go ahead and give it a whirl and see what I thought of it. Okay. And the next thing that I picked up was this bombshell volume. This is just in the color black. And this has been around for a while. As you can see, this is kind of with the volume. I've seen somebody a long time ago haul this and they did a review on it and it looks pretty impressive. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and give it a try. And I've heard some pretty good things about it. So I thought, well, I'll give it a try and see what I thought of it. And so it's got two sides to it. It's got, you know, this side here and that side there. So this is what the side one looks like. And I'm sorry if you guys are hearing a lot of noise. My kids are playing right outside the door and they're, they're kind of being pretty loud. So I apologize for that. So this is what the first side looks like here. That's what that looks like. Okay, and this is what the other side looks like here. This is number two here. So you just kind of have to apply that. I think it was like a couple times is what you do. And then it's kind of open weird. But this is the other side here. But the person who reviewed this, this was like a long time ago because this has been out for a while. And this was like around $8, I think. But she had the one side not done and then the other. It, I mean, it was crazy the amount of volume on it. So I'm excited to, I love mascaras. It's really fun to try out new things, of course, too. So I can't wait to try that out. The next thing I picked up was this Milani Shadow Eyes. This is in number 01 and this is in the Winter White. I actually was going looking for the kind of aqua color that is it's a gorgeous blue color, but I haven't been able to find it. That's actually what I'm looking for. And I think I got this for like $5.97 or something like that at Walmart. I, it was pretty close to that, I want to say. But that's what I actually went looking for. But then I saw this and I thought, well, it was really pretty. So I didn't want to leave it there. Whoops. Let me try to get this out of the packaging here. So... This feels really nice, actually. This is what it looks like here. It's looks really white, but it's actually got real, a real pretty shimmer color to it. So this is going to be really nice. You can use this as a shadow. You can also use this like the milk pencils as like a base. You can also use this like in your inner corner here. So this is going to be um, a great thing. And also, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but this is the 12 hour wear. So, so I think that is going to be good. Okay. And the last thing that I got from Walmart was this um, 15 golden touch. And this is just a eyeshadow and it comes with the applicator down here. And this basically I got just for like a highlight up here. And if you look at this closely, I've already swatched this a bunch of times because I've tried to do this video, but you can see it's got the glitter and you can tell where I swatched it here. So the glitter is just on that top part, I'm thinking. So let me go ahead and swatch it again. So this is just kind of like a real pretty kind of golden it's kind of powdery, but it looks pretty. I think it's going to be, I'm not sure if I'm going to like that or not, but it's a real pretty um, highlight color. So I can't wait to try that out. I usually really, I love Milani uh, products. So we'll give that a try. The last thing that I got was from Walgreens and I got this from, whoops, I got this for like $5 and this is the uh, Wet n Wild eyeshadow pad palette. I can't even talk you guys, it's getting late here. I'm looking tired too, but this is number 738 comfort zone. This is the palette here. And I have seen so many people talk about this palette for like a long time. And I've always thought I gotta check this out because I think I've been living underneath a rock. I have never used maybe in my whole entire life. I don't know a wet and wild eyeshadow product. So I thought 
I saw this at Walgreens and I thought these colors looked really gorgeous for fall so I thought I would go ahead and pick it up and try it out and see what I thought of it because I had seen people swatch these colors a long time ago in a video and I thought god those colors just look gorgeous so I'll show you guys a couple of these colors here just to show you kind of um what it's going to look like so this is a brow this is one of the brow colors here so this is just kind of like that color I almost probably showed you this is really pretty though. I actually really love that. It's got a, a real kind of um, golden color to it. I love that. That's real pretty. And then this one is my favorite. I'll go ahead and show you guys this one here. This is just impressive. That one's on the middle finger. It's got like a silver, blue, pink. It's got so many gorgeous colors that just come out on it. I just, I'm loving that color that I think it's gorgeous. And then this one here is kind of like a sage green color. Is that what that is? But I'm really liking that color too. Let me see if I can put it kind of, it's kind of harder to see when I do it that way. It's easier to see what the color is going to look like that. And then let me go ahead and do this one here, this color here. That's a real pretty golden color as well. And then why don't I do this one here? That's real pretty too. And then I'll do this bottom one here just so you can kind of get an idea. They're very pigmented. I'm very impressed. However, I think you probably would need to use a um, primer with some of them, especially like this one here, I think. But I'm really impressed with the way these colors are. I really like that. So I can't wait to try this out. I'm really liking all the colors there. Yeah, these are just very, they're very pigmented. I'm very impressed for $5 for this um, palette here. I guess I've been, like I said, living underneath the rock. I need to try out this Wet n Wild stuff. So I tried out like some Wet n Wild, like I picked up from like the Dollar Tree, some of their polishes, I think. But that's about all I've tried of Wet n Wild. Yeah, I think polishes. And then maybe like a mascara or something a long time ago. So anyways, I'm sorry about all the background noise with all my kids in the background. I apologize for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have a really good day today. Bye, guys.